How's it going, guys? Uh, I want to show you something I got sent today by my buddy Patrick Bears. He uh, sent me a power distribution board. It's the uh, HUBOSD. It's the uh, 8SE version with the capacitor. We have it here on the frame, the quad that he also had sent me for a rewire and rebuild. Um, so far so good. What I'm going to do now for you is try and show you real quick how to flash and update the firmware on the OSD. I'll be using one of these UART adapters. Oh, readers. And the way I have this hooked up, I know there's a lot of wires here. But one is set up for a mini uh, old NAS32. One was set up for like a GPS. And this is how I have it hooked up for this particular uh, power distribution board OSD combo. I have it hooked up uh, so that the RX and TX will be crossed when they hook up to the board here. And I also have it hooked up so that only the ground wires connected. So RX to TX, TX to RX. I hope well you can see that. Slide the pins in. Like so. How well you can see that there. RX to TX, TX to RX. Everything's well marked out on this board, by the way. I gotta say that. So, that's all hooked up. I go to the website now. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a bit. Now, this is the Maytech website. I know it doesn't seem like much, but... I don't know why, but their website's a little dry. So to speak, I'll just hold it there. And I downloaded this file here from the version 1.4. I also downloaded the tool. So we'll shut that down. If I can get this to stand up right, that'll be sick. All right. You see there? Perfect. Okay. So I downloaded the tool. I downloaded the firmware. I have the quad set up or the power distribution board set up. So we open up the tool. The STO SD8 tool. It's a, a, a RAR file. But you got to unzip it. Extract it. However you want to call it. And there it is. Okay. Pops up like so. You have your battery connected. Well, not connected yet. You hook up your battery now to your power distribution board. You'll hear that chime in. Okay. Give that a couple seconds to warm up. Now it's already hooked up. It's the same way as we left it. You get the little notifications that you're getting juice to the board. That's the RX and TX and ground connected. Go into the USB. You plug it in. Find it. that back in computer recognize something I'm gonna find out what that was come over here we go to the com port which is mine on 16 click connect Hang on a second because really don't have a solder we gotta hold the button we'll hold the pins connected there 
There you go. Connects right up. If you were going to flash the firmware, I already have firmware version 1.4 on there, but we'll load the local firmware. It asks, where do you have it? I have it in my downloads. Which is up from here. Search STOSD. There's the bin file that we downloaded from the Matech website. Just double click on that. It asks, Are you sure? You say yes. And then it updates right across the bottom there. And then again, I have my finger on the pins because I don't have them soldered in there. As long as you're holding it, it'll update. Doesn't take too, too long here. Update completed. Okay. Just disconnect. Connect. There you go. We're going to see how this looks here in the next couple days when I get the rest of it all hooked up. Thanks for watching.